all tied at 36 points. Yeah. <laughs> he was he was the uh, he was 30, the guy. The sole 36 pointer that got there. Yeah. Ahead of you know eight Jerry seven T. virtual top eighters. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> Jerry T in ninth place, but he was aware of that, so no surprise to him. Yeah, he's he, like, I got top. I got mm-hmm. ninth. Kibler too, he's at 36. He knew he had, he didn't make it. Here we go. Brunson on the left. Again, if you haven't uh, seen him earlier, which I go alone. Reedman on the right. Yeah, you gotta look at the Happy Floridian, Bronson Magnum. Excited about his plans for Barcelona a bit now? Yeah. Probably talking a little bit about Barcelona right now. We're going to be playing in Spain. Is, it, is my passport expired or not? I don't know. What kind of, what kind of restaurants are there? What deck should I play? Who cares about the magic right now? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to Barcelona. Now, this is going to be Bronson Magnin's first uh, Pro Tour topic. I mean, first Pro Tour uh, experience. That's real good. That's that's real nice to know that he put in the time and effort in this format. Made Uh, a deck that he thought was strong. Apparently, John John Culver uh, worked on the deck as well. All right. So, has this this been exposed anywhere online? I know I haven't seen it. I usually check out the deck list every now and then. I think it's just been uh, probably a PTQ deck in, okay. uh, on the Florida scene, maybe. Okay, so maybe the I know all the Floridians are watching right now, so they'll just like Twitter me or uh, Facebook me, tell me what's going on there. We can get multiple it's social medias one, going if you want to Skype me. It's almost one three PTQs or something. <laughs> Hasn't actually won anything yet. Well, I don't. I don't think it's done well otherwise. Like the legacy version of this deck abuses cycling lands when you're life from below and box diamonds and you can get extra. Wait, mana wait a minute. Play. Wait, wait, did I miss that? So I'm looking at my Facebook and I it sounds like Zach Dolan was here today. Yeah, Zach Dolan says I stopped by the Lincoln Grand Prix. Fun stuff. So much has changed in the 14 years since I last played. Maybe you say hello to you. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So Brunson's going down to six. I don't know what Sam's saying, but probably something like five, 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 five. <laughs> yeah. Where's Sam from? Hoth. <laughs> He's not yeah. from Hoth. <laughs> What's uh, yeah? I mean, Bronson's clearly from Tatooine. <laughs> Bard is clearly Tatooine in this scenario. Yep. <laughs> They're close to Swamp Land, so maybe a Dagobah. Oh, I, mean, I, like, I like Dagobah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so Brunson has a Dark Blast in his hand, a couple of lands, can't make out the rest of it. Ringleaf Drum, man. That, that's the kind of turn one Brunson wants to see. Yeah. <laughs> So with Sam going first, it does look like Brunson lost game one and then won game two. Looking for the wrong players, John Butler, Steel Overseer, Explosive. <laughs> this is not what, what Sam wants to be doing right now. Right. What is Brunson deciding to do here? I saw a dark... All right, so he has two black floating, I believe it is. That is Twilight Mire. Oh, okay. And he's saying double cranial plating, galvanic blast, ink moth nexus. With dark blast in his hand, it seems like maybe you just... 
take the rid of, get rid of the galvanic glass. Oh no 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 no! Because you could pump it up with uh, the blink moth. You could pump up ink moth nexus too, right? The other black uses uh, gets rid of steel overseer. It was just seeing Bronson just now go to work on dredging. Well, well, there's no affinity in the, you know, alleged affinity deck over here. There's definitely dredge in the deck we're yeah. not calling dredge. <laughs> <laughs> aggro low. The yeah, aggro low deck definitely has a lot of dredge. Affinity has metalcraft. That's like neo affinity, I guess. Yep. Here's signal plus, cranial plating. Okay. That's... Brunson knows where this dark blast is going to be headed. <laughs> Bunch of lands hit the bin. Looks like he has Ghost Quarter in his hand as well. This is the kind of the game that Brunson really is, <laughs> is going to be doing well in, it looks like. Just needs a threat, but between Ghost Quarter and Dark Blast, it should be fine for a while. <laughs> and my cousin, I am totally aware how far it is back to Detroit. Comedy stylings of the judges on the mics here. This way, Brunson looks like he has a wife of the lobe in the hand. He's going to grab his. What? So, double black. It looks like it's being used here. Signal. Or black and green. Can I nature's claim? Nature's Claim. Now that's what I thought was a life of the loan. Didn't realize there was Nature's Claim in his hand. Pretty sure that's what it was. Let's see. What are the... Yeah, it must... There it is. This is probably the other end of his deck. <laughs> the Nature's Claim. We've only got the back end of his deck <laughs> on our sort of semi disorganized <laughs> Print out too. We have everyone's deck somewhere it's like, here. It's like an episode of the Flintstones where Barney and uh, Fred get separated in a horse costume. <laughs> so, uh, Countryside Crusher, a land, and uh, something else that we missed. Can't go down for them. There's the, the Dark Blast Ridge. How many, uh, how many basic lands on Samuel Friedman's list? Generally, I'd say. I mean, Ma Mary, had a, Mary had a couple. We're looking at two, oh, two, two mountains as well. Sam has two mountains in his deck. So I think Ghost Quarter can do a lot of work. Get the loam going, and <laughs> Brunson just has to wait till he gets the Crusher or Termoglyph. And he can animate his uh, his next eye, his nexuses. Sam passes a turn. So Bam Bam the Grunt says uh, Sam's from Austin. And uh, he judged the uh, That'd be more GPT <laughs> he won for this GP. Okay. Uh, he's from Tatooine. Yeah, it's yeah, Dagobah yeah. versus Tatooine here. Dagobah, Tatooine, in Huff. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he needed a neutral ground for this battle to go down. <laughs> Coming soon in 3D, probably. <laughs> City of Brass. Times where we had to play City of Brass. And if you don't, and if you don't like, you know, if you're in the quarterfinals and you don't like how this played out, don't worry. George Lucas is going to remake it, <laughs> slightly edit it, get better results. Oh, there's an obstinate bailoff. So Brunt is going to jump up to 25. He's getting in real trouble here. This, <laughs> this is Sam's opportunity. Maybe uh, we'll go for the poison route. Doesn't look like a very good, good route to go, but it's something. Ornithopter, and yeah, not one of the cards you want to draw at this point of the game. Activates Springleaf Drum. You can take, she took a lot of damage really quick here, though. Oh, oh. Brunson's got rid of two cranial platings already. One via Thoughtsies, one via Nature's Claim. Dr 
Grub. Activates two Ink Moth and we're looking at two Poison. And with Metalcraft, the Obstinate Bail Alpha will go down. So, Brunson at three poison total here. Draws a Pyroclasm. Not really good right now. So, Pyroclasm, Ingroth Nexus. Get the ink mouth mixes, could get the ornithopter if you really wanted. From all weekend, we haven't really had to use the poison counter at all. <laughs> I don't think we've seen a poison win throughout the entire weekend. More mana, another obstinate mana. <laughs> We're really looking for this poison plan. can't make up the one card in Brunson's hand. There's obviously a Pyroclasm and a Dark Blast. And there's one green card, maybe? Is it a Life from Below? Another Nature's Claim? If it's a Life from Below, don't you just start just go scoring Samuel at every opportunity? Yeah. I'm pretty sure they've seen I, mean, I don't think I don't think he feels like the long game is going to be one that... Yeah, it was bad for him. I mean, you know, Dark Blast one. Pumps one, so you're going to take two poison instead. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, Brunson's at five now. Five poison halfway there. Brunson really can control that at any point he wants. Liliana, Jug Charm, Land. Dredge oh, there. Still have some unclaimed prizes from throughout the weekend. <coughs> if you're hearing your name here in the room, please come up. We're looking for Dave Young. Looks like Tyler Stoneman. Still not going to find out what this green card is yet. Maybe it's another Nature's Claim. Mike White and Lucas Coutts. If you heard your name, you are in the hall. Please come up here on the main prize. Two yeah. spots and a standard win box. <laughs> Two spots, standard win box. You should play. Sitting really deep in the tank right here. So we have two mana. Okay. Activate, activate both nexuses. Start up with Dark Blast. And Ghost Corner. <laughs> this is going to go up to six poison. Did something happen to that? Uh, that Nature's Claim? The yeah, Nature's Claim, the other one. Okay, so he stays at five poison. And that was your green card, the mystery solved. Part of the Ooh. greatest mystery team ever. My other half oh, you're you're a little here. off your game without Rusty. <laughs> I know. If he was here, we would have solved it right away. But we get a Memnite. We got Vanic Blast again on Obstinate Bela. This is not the kind of game that Sam wants to be playing against Brunson's deck. But doesn't have much of choice. Brunson will just dredge back his Dark Blast. Uh, Countryside Crusher, a land, and uh, can't make out that last card. May have been an Ancient Grudge. Now Brunson could just Pyroclasm here, if you'd like. Turns out the Spring Leaf Drum as well. Then he sits on Dark Blast. It seems like he also likes to be using Dark Blast. So if you dredge into what he needs. <coughs> so 
Mem Knight, Ornithopter, Springleaf Drum. Not a scary board at all. <laughs> Voltsker is drawn. More things that just fall to that Dark Blast sitting in yeah. Brunson's hand. Brunson's <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> you got it, bud. <laughs> 27 more turns. <laughs> Impressive clock here. Spring leaf a blank. <laughs> It's like he knew that the life from the low was on top. And uh, Lillian is not one of them, but yeah, this game is slowly going to fade away <laughs> even for Samuel. Or may have been gone a while ago, but... It didn't see, I mean... Yeah. <laughs> I would, Any hope is <laughs> quickly going away. He has one more mountain in his deck. After that, eats up a couple lands, Dark Blast, a couple things. <coughs> so one thing Brunson needs to worry about, maybe Arkbound Ravager could help Sam get back in this game. Arkbound Ravager is yeah. kind, of kind of gross. We'll throw it on Linda. to the... The ornithopter there, but the pyroclastic now gets rid of that plan kind of. But there's still the blink moth. I was trying to say, like, it's not ink moth, but blink moth still around. But that just gets ghost quartered. I was like, man, I was having so much fun at this GP. <laughs> now I hate this. <laughs> I just want to go home. And get ready for <laughs> playing at Pro Tour Barcelona. Pro Tour Drivers in Barcelona, yeah. I should say. So I guess X Champion as well. That kind of could get you like X Champion plus. You need another, uh, another cranial plating. Another cranial plating. Yeah. He's got the mana to get it over there on instant, uh, instant yeah. speed. And Brunson has, I mean, Sam has three artifacts that are going to stay in play for a while, most likely. Two. <laughs> All right. And now we're empty. <laughs> Don't get rid of my senior press. Then goes back to the starting life total. So we just half price for action mana, basically. Loam, what else can he get? I think, do I even want my loam? Yeah, let's draw a card here. <coughs> he does have Lava Claw Reaches. Starts off with Dark Blast and Vault Scourge. Lava Claw Reaches comes in for two, and Sam will go down to 18. Nope. Galvanic Blast takes out number, the... Galvanic Blast number three. Of this Just game. like Brian Kimlock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, that was a game. Let's see what Brunson decides here. It's absolutely nothing on Samuel's side. Let's just draw a card. And try. Well, he could get his life from the low back and get his Lava Claw Reaches. Guarantee getting a creature this turn. Mills a mother loam and two other lands. So Lava Claw reaches Ghost Quarter and X. Maybe a fetch land. If he has any. Seven turns. So Brunson's hand is all land. Jabs you a couple times. <laughs> okay, 
has to turn after that, so. Red's getting aggressive here. He's excited for the finals. <laughs> he didn't need a jab there. <laughs> I probably would just sit in case I drew my seismic assaults. You don't really need to jab right there. That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make much of a difference right now. We're still looking at uh, X champion being Sam's best draw. <laughs> but Brunson is such a high life toy. <laughs> So one of his four S champions and one of his two remaining cranio appointments are what we what Sam's looking for. Inquisition of Coastlink. Something was discarded right away. What what was discarded there, Rashad? Lava Claw reaches coming in for three damage. Attention players, Michael Thompson. And Nathan Lambert, Michael Thompson. You're okay. You're in one box 16, or you guys ready to begin? Please come to the public event stage. Three mana, that's the right amount for. There's, There's your edge champion. One part of trying to win this game. What does Brunson think of here? <laughs> Getting a loan? Okay. Two, three, four, five. <coughs> loan will also hold off lava car reaches. The plan's just to jab away now? <laughs> jab, jab, jab. Jab three times here. That's three. Three land three times, three jabs. Sam will drop to 12. <laughs> this, play seems, this plan seems perfectly fine for Brunson. That's champion has to. Oh, comes in this time. Get to the 25. Going back through the motions. Here's low. We're gonna jab a bunch of times. Are we reasonably close to decking ourselves? <laughs> Something I haven't considered too much. Liliana. I guess there's Pitcher's Eye Crusher and a land. Going to repeat last turn. This deck just probably was a ton of fun to play throughout the day. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I mean, a ton of fun? Ton, kind of. Ton, I mean, probably a ton of fun to play early in the day, and then, okay. <laughs> and then a ton to carry. And it's just like after, a really heavy load. Like, ah. After a while, I guess, you're like, all right, all right. I'm surprised if there is any uh, Technica, so we see any of this, of this part of his deck. Oh, here's the rest of his deck. No, no tectonic edges at all. Okay, and with the Lava Claw reaches, looks like 4 3. Sam's at 9. <laughs> the fourth Galvanic Blast drawn by Sam there. So Brunson's going to follow 23. Blake Moth Nexus. Is that an ancient grudge? Two days quarter your Nexus. Now it's actually a ton better to take out a kid. It's just wasteland now. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I'll be in for four damage. The Galvanic Blast will get rid of the Lava Claw Reaches. The fourth Galvanic Blast. Sam trying to make something happen here. Getting closer to uh, Brenton's starting life total. For the second edge champion. So there's two more cranial plating in the deck. Two more cranial plating. There's uh, some steel shapers gifts. Is there, oh, there's some steel shapers gifts? I didn't even realize that one. Let's see. Yep, a couple copies of those as well. <coughs> so about three, really. But if that was an ancient grudge in Brunson's team, which I'm not entirely sure if it is or not. Shuffling it away quickly. What else could it possibly be? It could possibly be Magnum Spray as well. Well, there's an ancient grudge right there. So, you know, ancient grudge is going to protect Brunson from uh, the first cradle plating at least. Now here's Loam. Firelit Thicket, Lava Claw Reaches, and Ghost Quarter. I imagine that Brent is going to want to start jabbing here again. Jab here and keep up stopping ground to Ancient Grudge just in case. Alright, you're at six. Blame jab, 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 jab. Jab, jab, left, left, right. <laughs> And <coughs> it's champion coming for four. The steel overseer. You know that's probably gonna die with a spell in Brunson's hand. I believe that is a magma spray. If not, it's another ancient branch. <laughs> One or the other is gonna really help him out there. Or he could jab it away. <laughs> There's a seismic assault and two lands. <laughs> Sam finally broke the 20 life total barrier. <laughs> Took a little bit, <laughs> little work there, but he finally broke it. I think Brunson's trying to figure out if there's a way he could win this turn. Searching out something right now. Look at the size of his deck right there. It's pretty tiny. Dark Blast, the Dark Blast is Brunson's is making sure to be very careful here. He knows he feels like this game's locked up, but doesn't want to lose randomly to uh, some shrapnel blast and cranial ex cranial plating action on it <laughs> out of nowhere. It's three mana. It's going to be three mana for three jabs. <laughs> Bryce is going to play another land here. Flashing back to Ancient Garage, it's not what it seems like. Yep. Andrew probably can seize the game right here. Oh, is that? Yeah, that's not. <laughs> that's not going to be enough. Yeah. And congratulations to Brunson. He will be advancing to the finals here of Grand Prix Lincoln. 
waiting for him in the finals already, who we saw earlier. For the pod player, Andrew Cunio. Yep. From, Pits from Pittsburgh. From Pittsburgh. CMU. Two time top eight competitor versus top, uh, Pro Tour uh, Neophyte. Now, um, Brunson Magnet. Yeah, Brunson's deck seems pretty good against the Burning Pride deck. He has a lot of things that will kill the early creatures, forces you to discard. I'll, I'm interested to see how that plays out. I mean, Andrew's been playing this pretty interestingly. I mean, just I don't mean that euphemistically. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he's just been like, uh, Andrew's been like, you know, I'm, I'm going to be aggro, I'm going to be. Yeah, he, he's able 